Hey family and friends, how you doing? My sister, my brother, welcome back. This your girl, Pinky, your cousin, your friend, your sister, your auntie. How you doing? Welcome back to the YT. We are continuing on with the uh, Pink Pouch series. Yes, haunty. Um, I just did the fibromyalgia and I found two purple things to put in there. So, uh, yeah, a pen and a flashlight. So I'm going to put those in there and, you know, even the grandbaby knows purple if I need him to go get my uh, my bag. Let's hop on into this. This is your first time here. We welcome you to this channel. We're so glad that you stopped by. We know you did because you're nosy. But that's okay, girl. I'm nosy too. You got some nosy men on here. Yeah, because they want to know what's in our purse. Because, you know, you be telling your husband you ain't got no money. <laughs> Hey, go in your purse and see a twenty dollar bill. Go say, girl, I thought you were broke. What can twenty dollars do, bro? Twenty dollars don't even buy a pack of uh, a case of water. Get some gas. What, what you drive a bicycle? <laughs> girl, let's hop into this video. This is your first time here, y'all. We just sometimes we just need a, a, to laugh to break a cycle. Just laugh, get it on over with, get it out, and laugh. Laugh puts oil back on your bones. Laugh does good, like a medicine. La laugh, just laugh, and uh, be glad. But first we want to do, we want to welcome you. If you're first time here, ask that you would give a thumbs up. Watch the video all the way to the end. Leave a comment. Let me know your name, where you're from. Hit that button there, honey. Ring the bell. Yes, honey, ring the bell. So let's go ahead on because we want to deal with my medicine pouch. This is a doggone shame, my pink pouch medicine bag. But I, at first, our scripture will be Psalm 103. I need my trusty magnifier. Psalm 103, verse 1. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Bless the Lord. <laughs> and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Now, you got to talk to your soul. You, you need to have a conversation with your soul. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all. And bless the Lord with all that you got. He said, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Honey, if you forget God's benefits, you in, you in, a, you in a fix. Now, I know with fibromyalgia, we have a lot of memory lapses and gaps and you know, we call it the fibro fog where you talking. I've done it on this channel. You talking and you you just done derailed. You don't even know what you were talking about. But uh, it's called the fibro fog. I call it the favor of God. Because <laughs> even though I may derail from my thoughts, he brings me right back. You know, sometime instantly, sometime. It'll be 30 minutes and who I was talking to is gone. Like I call him and say, oh yeah, this is what I was saying. <laughs> Is is it's reality. Is is not a lack of faith. Now I'm all serious kidding aside. It's not a lack of faith on your part if you have fibromyalgia. Because I was judged by the church. The same people I went to church with and sat beside and raised hands and danced beside in church. I was judged. And God said, you know what? There's there's people that's killing themselves because of this diagnosis. And it's okay to go to man to get the medicine because I gave them the wisdom to create a pill to help you. Now, God can heal you. And God, the reason why God ain't healed me yet, because some healing is not coming on this side of life. Some healing comes when you enter into the kingdom. Come on here. Everybody not going to get healed on this side. And it's not because he can't. Is because he's using your life as a living sacrifice. It's because you have these thorns in the flesh, like Paul said. You know, Paul, the greatest apostle, said, I prayed three times about these thorns. And God said, my grace is sufficient. You know, and, and I remember praying about this fibromyalgia, about these migraine headaches. And my grace is sufficient. And I'm like, yes, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Father. So with that being said, I take it because God knows I use this sickness, this pain, this disease 
these gremlins that attack as a testament of his saving power because so many have already lost their mind so many have already committed suicide and so many have backed away from church because of what church folk i don't know what's on my too because of what church folk do to us and i'm like you know what i ain't got time to fight you i, I don't have the strength and the energy to fight you over this so i'm gonna move you over here to file 13. i'm not putting you in the trash right now i'm just gonna sit you right there by file number 13 now you come at me again uh, you, you know, I'm, I'm gonna trash you and I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna take you out you sometimes we put trash in the trash can and we take it out and it's gone forever i'm not gonna take you out but right now i'm just gonna sit you by the trash can you, you come at me again i'm gonna put you in the trash can and i i don't take the trash out i just put you in the trash can you you trash to me right now because it's either me or you honey let's get into this bag um this medicine bag because i know this is not gonna take long i gotta sanitize <laughs> y'all don't know i i can't play with COVID. i can't play with the, his cousin that monkey i gotta have sanitizers on every bag in every bag i got sanitizers all over the car diamond has her own little spray that sanitizes the car it's a sanitizer spray that she has so if I pick somebody up, which is rare, I'm spraying everything in that car. Diamond ain't going to be coughing on me. No, ma'am. She, she need to give me point A, point B. This is my medicine pouch. This I got out the hospital. Questions to ask your care team. And it was some questions that I had to ask that I did ask when I was there. But I do have a thick book that's in another bag. That goes with me every time I go to the doctor. And somebody had asked to see uh, my Barbie doll that I carry to the doctor with me. Because uh, up until this recent doctor, most doctors that I had through the VA were foreign. So there's a language gap. You know, when they when you start talking to them, they don't understand English. So I said, I got something for you. I'm, I, I know I'm visual, honey. I can show you. So I took this Barbie doll and she became a sacrifice. And she got all bruised up. And, you know, I told one doctor, I said, everywhere where you see a mark, and it's some up under her dress, everywhere where you see a mark, this is fibro friend, is where I'm hurting. Oh, yeah, you can't be hurting that bad. I said, yes, well, I am. This is some um, daytime nasal congestion, like a, a day quill. And this is coracetin. Uh, I don't take these. These are just stashed. In the event I get a cold. So this is Corsetin HBP. It's the one for people with high blood pressure. You take that other Corsetin and you wonder why your blood pressure running up because you took the wrong one. You got to get the one if you got blood pressure problems that says HBC. High blood pressure. I have some Excedrin migraines in here because I'm in migraine season. Well, I stay in migraine season, but September it really amps up. I have some Pepto tabs, some uh, in that little container, and then some that I got from Dollar Tree individually wrapped, just in case somebody else needs some and they haven't been touched. I have a peel cutter. I have some pampering for the fibromyalgia because somebody told me to try it. I haven't tried it yet, but you know... If you can remember your cycle, you got the bloating, the pain, the headaches, the cramps, all that stuff. Pampering is supposed to help with that. Haven't started it yet, but it's in here. I have my eye wash. I have some cough drops, honey cough drops. These are some Robitussin tabs. I do have Robitussin liquid, anxiety pills nasal decongestant nasal inhaler that's the himalayan himalayan pink salt from dollar tree this is my linactolone in other words lenses because one of my issues is fibro my uh constipation that opens it up like the hoover dam i have a pen in here this is no it's not monday through friday medications this one is, these first two are diabetes, 
and the rest of these are blood pressure and heart problems two is for the heart I some BC oh excuse me BC powders right here I like this little thing it opens up you got that section there's the BC powders and then I got baby aspirins uh, these are called the pearls which is good for the bronchitis that I get four to five times a year um, B12s for energy, nortriptyline, and chlorothalazone for blood pressure. This is just overflow. So when, you know, I go on my road trip, I don't have to carry all them bottles. And then here is some extra muscle relaxers, some more blood pressure pills, some more um, stuff for the bowels. Some more BC powders, some Tums, muscle relaxer. And that is it. We made it through. We, Yeah, we made it through the medicine thing. So this is all the medicine. It's just not in the big bottles. And some I got extra in here, you know, because um, I'm extra. Get it? I'm extra, so I got extra. And these is not to share these are yeah for me so that being said thank you for stopping by if this is your first time here please go ahead on and hit that button and ring that bell boo ring that bell leave a comment thumbs up thank you for watching the video all the way to the end until next time you be blessed this is pinky with the pink pouch series god bless